Yes guys, welcome back. We have now made it to the Isle of Skye. We are blessed with some gorgeous blue weather and look at these views to start the day. This is going to be a good, good trip on the island. This week we take you to one of the most scenic islands in Scotland. Welcome to the Isle of Skye. After so many recommendations about this place, we thought we would see what the fuss was all about. The scenery was unbelievable and driving through this island was absolutely stunning. Although we could see that the mass tourism was really starting to affect the roads and places and then eventually the truth was uncovered. You didn't plan for this. You didn't even take it into account. No. This isn't what makes us happy. What happened, babe? Oh my God, guys, you can probably hear the wind outside. It is horrendous. We've decided to come to the northwest side of Sky, and it is so windy. There must be a wind coming straight off that sea because it's horrible. I can hardly walk in a straight line. It's that windy. I've literally just stacked it, taken Fletcher out for a walk. It was muddy, it was slippery. I'm really not sure if it's a good idea. The only thing guys is we've just driven on the worst road to get here. We oh. must we must have driven for about 40 minutes out of our way just to come to this lighthouse. And the road was awful. It was full of potholes. Some of them were so deep. But I'm thinking there's a camper van that's just leaving now, which means we can park facing into the wind. We could have some lunch, see if this wind dies down. We've come all the way here. What yeah. do you reckon? But if we park into the wind, it might not be so bad because this this van is a rocking right now. It's making me feel a bit seasick. So yeah, everyone is really struggling with the wind. Oh my god! Come on, let's let's change and park the van somewhere different. So we've now moved the van so that we're pointing towards the wind and it doesn't feel like we're on a boat anymore. The wind is hellish. So. We're just gonna cook up some lunch. Chris is gonna whip up a spag bar, aren't you, babe? My favorite. Yeah, our favorite spag bar is on the go. He does make an incredible spag bar. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna enjoy that. We've got amazing views here. So just sit, enjoy the views, enjoy the blue skies, watch everybody try and fight this wind. And then once we've had something to eat, we might just have to brace it. And venture out there. And adventure out here. There you go, darling. Thank you so much. Look at that. One Even Fletcher bowl. woke up to see what it was. It just seems to get busier and busier. We're waiting for it to die down a little bit. Uh, one, the wind and the amount of people, but we're just gonna suck it up now and go. We've had our nice spaghetti bolognese. I kicked Sam's ass at a couple of games of Scrabble. So it's time to get out and embrace this weather. And then at least we can move out of the wind because it's too windy here. The bus is rocking. I'm surprised my surf was still on the roof. So yeah, let's go. Are you ready to go or something? <laughs> right. Let's go, our first go. I'm afraid to say it. If you haven't worked out by our other vlogs, like Fletcher runs us, <laughs> we don't run him. So you rule the roost, don't you, buddy? This is mad. Actual madness. So windy. excited to walk back up here already? Yeah! I am. It is so steep. <laughs> this bit's nice and sheltered, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, have I still got my nose on my face? <laughs> Honestly, guys, I've never felt wind like it. That is so my savage. phone actually nearly flew out of my hand. It was that windy. My eyelashes felt like they were going to take off. <sighs> what an experience that was. What a place, though. It's stunning. The cliffs and everything here is just beautiful. We're not there yet, though. I wish we could send the drone up, guys, but I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not drone weather today. It would be off into Hong Kong before you know it. <laughs>
Right, so guys, you can come here, you can walk around the outskirts of the lighthouse, but you can actually go into any of the property. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone is still like staying here, looking after the lighthouse at all. There's a few curtains in the windows and that, but me and Sam were saying how cool it would be to renovate it. That would be quality. Or it would be cool just to be able to like, walk around and see what's inside and things like that, but obviously can't do that now. So we're going to head back to the van because it's chuffing. <laughs> My golly gosh! I can't tell you how happy I am to be back in the land. I think we're gonna have a bit of wind burn tonight. My face is on fire. Jesus, quick! Fuck you! Jesus. Sugar the bed. What did we reckon of that then? That was good, it was worth seeing. I'm pleased I went and saw it, but make sure there's not a wind coming from the from the northwest because it's not as enjoyable. It would have been nice on a clear sunny day. Could have got the drone out, got a good few aerial shots of it. But as Sam said, the drone would have ended up in the middle of Scotland. It is definitely half time guys. Oh, like, it's there's so busy. so many people here. We're not unsociable people, but it's just busy. like when we're so used to being like on our own remote um out of season and then as soon as like you hit like in season bang and we've told like the end of the week is going to be like mad up here so i'm not looking forward to that as much after that windy windy walk we are settling down here for the night it's just a nice big car park probably about 20 probably about 15 minutes from uh, the lighthouse so yeah we're just going to settle down probably have a shake for tea we need to get rid of that rubbish. The one downside to van life that's annoying is sometimes it's really hard to find places to get rid of your rubbish, especially in the Highlands and the Isle of Skye so yeah. far. Um, yeah, it's been hard. So we, as you can see, you don't leave anything behind. We take it all with us. But yeah, we're just gonna settle down now for the night, chill, get a little bit of work done, and we'll pick you guys up in the morning. Good morning. It's been a little while since we have picked you guys up purely because we've had a few days of rain so we haven't really done a lot. We've just found really nice places to park and done some work. We cooked a roast yesterday but right now we are parked just up the road from the Old Man of Store which is a popular little hike to do here in the Isle of Skye right now it's super low cloud and you can barely see the top of where this place is but apparently this afternoon it's meant to be lush and it's school holidays at the moment so well it's easter holidays so we're a little bit torn what to do so we've just turned up and it is looking pretty busy in the car park there's cars literally everywhere there's motor homes all along this road so it could be a bit of a busy walk up there but I think it'll be worth it. Go up there, see what it's all about, see what it's got to offer. And then, like I said, it's not too long of a walk, so we could come back tomorrow morning nice and early and do it then. We've changed our mind. I called it, I saw about 50 people go up at the same time, and I was like, do you know what? I'm not doing it now. Let's do it at sunrise tomorrow. That would be epic. Yeah, so we're off to go and see something different now. Hopefully it won't be as busy and we can just go check it out give fletcher a run out i need to get out of this van i need to go for a walk and do something i'm feeling really like yeah two days of rain it's got to me now i'll have enough it's just a realization at all we didn't plan for this we didn't even take it into account did we no i feel like we sound so spoiled i know but when you go from having literally seen not a soul for like four weeks, this is like next level busy. I've never experienced anything like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's because we've... This isn't what makes us happy. I just think wrong place, wrong time for us. And we definitely didn't account for the school holidays at all. I know this might sound really like stupidly overthinking, but I see like... I think seeing this place being so busy has really made me question about what we're doing because I don't like seeing humans destroy places no, because 
the mass tourism in an area you know like you see how beautiful this place is and I just have this like horrible feeling that we're we're a part of that problem because we go out onto YouTube and we share these incredible places with people. It's a catch-22 though, you know what I mean? Like, if we didn't do it, other people would do it. Yeah, there's like, there's loads of vans coming, so I'm going to get moving now. Yeah. The roads are just ridiculous, aren't they? Yeah. <sighs> Good morning, team. We have woken up to the most gorgeous sunrise. I know we said we were going to walk up Old Man and see the sunrise, but we found a park up where we are looking over the water and we've seen the sun come up behind the mountains and it has just been a bliss. It's currently five to seven. Just got up, just got ready, and now we're just going to enjoy a nice coffee, watching the sunrise, and then head off and do the walk. Are you ready? ready and we're gonna have a fresh start today guys we had a little bit of a meltdown yesterday yep. when we realized how busy it was at 9 a.m it was just the car park was full so yeah we got over our sulk we're gonna embrace it we're not gonna be spoilt brats no nope. and um, we'll show you guys just how busy it can be on the island yeah, we just want to be real with you guys. We don't, I mean, we don't want to miss sell this at all because there's going to be a lot of you guys who can only come in school holidays or Easter holidays whenever there is a break. So we're just going to be real with you and show you, yeah, how busy it really can be. This is absolutely stunning. I want to start my day like this every day. Let's make it happen. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's magical. It is definitely cold today when you look up on the grass there's a frost so don't be fooled it's not warm we need to wrap up warm and hit the road let's go even though it's gorgeous it's still bitter cold this morning and when we came here yesterday at nine o'clock i don't know if you can see behind me but this whole car park was full absolutely full there was people all parked down the road and it was 9 a.m it's now 7am and there's still probably a good 15 cars here but definitely come early if you're in any sort of holiday or in the high season because you won't regret it. I'm absolutely chin strapped. Babe, we're about 10 minutes in. <laughs> I know, but I am. It's all up here, all right? It's first thing in the morning. You got this, babe. Oh, you need me if you want. I got such a good view from this spot. No, we don't give up, do we? We gotta get it to our old man. Old oh, man of store, nice to meet you. Bye. Well, that is the guy we're gonna see right there. The old man of store. It's giving me proper like Dolomites vibe. Yeah. It's not as big and grand as the Dolomites, but the shape of the rock formations yeah. look very much like. Yeah. The Dolomites. <laughs> Hey, I bet it feels liberating being in a t-shirt, doesn't it? It does feel good being in just a t-shirt, that's for sure. You're gonna have like brown arms now. I need it, I'm the paces <laughs> I've been in a while. Need some sunshine. Those views are unreal, aren't oh, they? Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> We've made it up to the old man. How does it feel? Oh, it's great to feel you. <laughs> <sighs> this bit is a little bit sketchy to get up to. Yeah. Wasn't sure if I could do it. But, but you view? smashed it. What a view. And now I can definitely see like the path coming up. There's loads of people coming up now. Yeah. So We came up at just the right time. Yeah. You probably guys can't see, but there's the path all the way down there. 
and there is a lot of people coming up now car park slowly filling up so make sure you do it nice and early because it is so worth it and if the weather is on your side you will not be disappointed with the views you get from here remarkable We're just about to tuck into a nice shortbread that we saved. That just waiting. Shortbread. Cheers, babe. Cheers, Gorge. Cheers, guys. Cheers, team. Am I sharing mine with you, eh? Oh, I'm becoming quite the baker, guys. Right, time to head back down to the van now. The wind is picking up, people are coming. So we'll meet you back in the van. We are back in the van. It was a really lovely walk down, but we saw loads of people coming up. So we definitely did the right thing. The car park is now completely full. And yeah, there's loads of people heading up. So it was definitely worth getting up early. We're now gonna drive 20 minutes to our next spot. That's meant to be a lovely walk as well. I think it's like a three and a half to four hour walk, but I don't think we're gonna do that today. It wouldn't be very fair on Fletcher because we've just done like a good three hour walk already. So we're gonna head there. We're gonna make some lunch, but what a day. What a day, blue skies everywhere. The views over the mainland of Scotland. What a day. This is what van life is for. Days like this. at Fairy Glen. We've just paid two pounds for parking. Now we're grabbing all our bits. Do we need some more treats for Fletcher? Um, have you got any in your pocket? I've got one. Oh, fine. Is that enough to do? All right, let's lock up. Let's Thank go. You. This place is cool. It's got like loads of little like grass pyramids everywhere. These are actually wicked. It's like something out of a fairy tale, it isn't is, it? It literally is. <laughs> pretty phenomenal but yeah I think you just walk up and down the mounds enjoy a bit of the scenery because it is really really pretty here I feel like it's something from the Hobbit yeah exactly that very yeah. much like Lord of the, Lord Rings, the Rings vibe, vibe yeah. and I like how there's like little coves everywhere so if you come in and it's a nice day maybe bring yourself like a picnic blanket with a bit of lunch and a coffee and you can just sit down in one of the spots where there's no wind and yeah what a place what a place what a dog. Strap. I know we've done quite a bit today actually haven't we? Yeah it's been a good productive day today team but guys it is a belter today I'd say it's got to be at least 15 degrees. Yeah it's beautiful and then we're gonna go and try and find a really nice like scenic sea view park up for the evening. <laughs> Guys, this is a dreamy little park up. We have a view of the sun, the sea, the mountains. It is just gorgeous. Sam's actually baking here in the sun. She says she's hot. I did start off by lying outside and there is like a really like light breeze and I got a bit chilly with my arms out. And I came in here and I was like, oh my God, it's so nice. I, I am cooking like mega hot right now. I'm all in black, <laughs> so I'm attracting the sun. And yeah, I feel like I'm getting sunburned on this side of my face right now. But, oh guys, I can't tell you how happy I am to be in this like little spot where you kind of feel like you've got this part of the island to yourself. The weather's good. I can see ourselves being parked up here really for 
the next day or so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just having a bit of a reset, like being able to work out somewhere and catch up with some work. I think he's a bit warm as well. Look at that, enjoying the nice floor. We've been out on our blanket. Oh, just look at it. <laughs> Our time on the Isle of Skye has come to an end as tomorrow we are catching the ferry over to the Isle of Lewis and Harris. We are pleased we have come to explore this island, although seeing how overcrowded it gets, we wouldn't rush back. Try to visit this place out of season if you want a better experience. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, guys. You tuning in every week really means the world. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a video. See you next time. See ya!